Hey everyone and welcome back. It's your boy Graphic with another video and today we're going to be spending some time talking about and defining the term ball chaser. The hardest part of this video will be setting a definition as ball chasing has affected every Rocket League player ever in more than just a negative way. The Rocket League gameplay in the background will be that lunatic ball chaser that we all hate. I know lots of you who agreed and disagreed with my latest video. Three reasons why you should ball chase. And after discussing the video with hundreds of you people, I understand where most of us were differing in opinion. And it really wasn't anything besides the definition of a ball chaser. We all wanted to describe our ideas of a ball chaser in a different way. Most of us, if not all of us, have had bad experiences with ball chasing lunatics. However, some of us have failed to see that there are a good amount of good ball chasers that have helped us in our past games. Quickly, think of all of those times you have been healthy for months on end without a headache, cold, flu, or any kind of uncomfortable sicknesses. As soon as you get sick or get that headache, you start thinking of how you should have been more appreciative of those months of feeling good every day. And of course, as soon as you feel better, you forget about it. Rocket League kind of works in the same way. You could go on a five game winning streak with a good ball chaser. Next thing you know, you lose two games in a row with them ball chasing lunatics and you're fired up about how terrible they are. You didn't take the time to think about all of them good ball chasers that you just had on that winning streak. So now you're complaining to your mom and she doesn't give two shits whether you get out of diamond or not. I'm going to show you guys a clip from the Netherlands national football team from the 1974 World Cup. Obviously in this clip they have a bit more players so committing three or four at the ball won't mean nobody is back defending. However, it shows that pressure causes issues, mistakes, and it forces the opposing team into a panic. You should be able to tell that these guys are keeping constant pressure and not allowing their opponents time to set up or break through their defensive front. Ball chasing is one of the easiest and fastest ways to achieve this. And this strategy not only works in soccer and Rocket League, it works in almost every competitive sport. Think of full court press in basketball. It's high risk, high reward. Mastering the ball chase and realizing when to continue and when to back off is easily one of the most important decisions when attempting this play style. Let's now try to define a ball chaser. First, let's check the Urban Dictionary, because why not? The most upvoted submission said, a ball chaser is somebody who hits the ball without any clear motive or attempt to make it into the opponent's goal. They just hit the ball without aiming it anywhere in particular. They often mess up others' attempts at goals by blocking the ball from going into the opponent's goal or hitting it out of the way when their teammate is set up for a goal. Then I asked Pro Rocket League player Jay Wismont. He said, I define ball chasing as continuously going for the ball regardless of what your team is doing. Lastly, I asked King Randy and here's what he had to say. I did it. Uh, someone that ball chases. Uh, no, but really, someone that ball chases, uh, that goes for the ball when they shouldn't be, all the time, no matter what the consequence may be, whether it works or not. So all of these people seem to agree on one thing. Ball chasing is defined as something negative. After hearing everyone's thoughts on ball chasing all day, I decided that maybe ball chasing has already been given too large of a negative connotation. People seem to think ball chasing definition is all negatives. Sadly, I feel I must cave in and agree with everyone. Ball chasing alone is bad. It's a negative and it's stupid. However, there are ways to be a smart ball chaser. And today, I find a ball chaser as chasing the ball without end and without reason. Don't be a ball chaser, be a smart ball chaser. Thanks everyone for tuning in. I truly appreciate the comments and I hope you guys take the time to subscribe.